Okay, so I want to do a small test. I had somebody online do a review of this guy and say that it would not charge with Samsung devices. So this right here is a Samsung S20 Plus. So it's resetting its measurements for its current dish charge rate. Okay, so now first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab a cable from here, plug it into this, and then plug it into here, automatically starts charging. I'm just going to kind of leave this here so you can see it, see if I can get it to focus in a little on this. And look at that that thing is pushing. So 1790 milliamp. And sometimes what ends up happening here is, is you turn the screen off and it goes even faster. Oh, that's the Bixby button. This isn't my normal phone, so I apologize. And is charging 20% hour and 55 minutes until full. This thing shows full charge on this unit and pulsing rapidly. And let's see if this changes at all here in just a, a moment. And the way that I found when I initially plugged this in that it was not charging my phone, I realized that the packaging had read something about this has a smart charge capability to figure out the optimum charging rate for your phone's charging capabilities. And what you do, and I'll do a demo of it, is you press and hold this button here for about five seconds consecutive until this light pulses. And from there, what ends up happening, okay, we just got a 21% change is it will go through a charge sequence to try to figure out what's the fastest rate that this can take to push from here to there. So let's go ahead and relight our screen. And it is taking another measurement. Starts off at 1690 and starts pushing up again. So I wanted to do a, a fast contrast of some of the other portable chargers that are out there. So I'm going to disconnect this. So again, this is the one that this is all about. So I'm going to leave this in screen. But I am going to go ahead and charge from the Goal Zero Sherpa 100 AC and plug into its 2.4 amp output. And then let's see what this thing does same cable and all the way up to 1800 milliamp and the nice thing about the Sherpa 100 AC is it gives an idea of what wattage this is at and that's saying that's 8 watts out if you can read that so this is charging at 8 watts out and for another small comparison here, I am going to go ahead and grab a type C charger, charging cable, and I'm going to unplug this from my Sherpa. And I think here that's limited by the output, of course of the 2.5 volt, pardon, 2.4 amps at 5 volts. I'm going to plug it into one of my power delivery ports, type C. Go ahead and refocus that real quick. Get this plugged in. Let's see what this thing does. All right, so quite a bit faster and the screen is currently active and on but reading 2780 and on this guy right here 
it's saying 13 watts out but watch what ends up happening when I lock this so if I lock it and watch that wattage rise it'll typically rise up a few more watts well I guess in this instance only one more however it is reading on this well, let's try to refocus that one more time but charge until full 22 percent but it is uh, recognizing that it's on fast charge at the time and then let's go ahead and do one more quick test here I'm going to unplug from this and I'm going to plug into an old school one of my favorites just because it was so small and slender look at that and when I would ride my motorcycle I could actually fit this into my pocket but go ahead and plug this into the bottom relight that screen and this one I have to activate by pressing a button but let's see what this one reads that it's charging at it's resetting the measurement fourteen ninety so this little thing does its job but only about fifteen hundred milliamps total charge so in about one hour this would be dead but I find that this no longer holds that capacity so I'm left with this big dog right here however this one's water resistant so again I did say that I was going to show you how to properly get this thing to go through a charge cycle and do the right thing so when you plug it up it's going to work off of a last uh, understanding of when you plug up to this charging port it's going to push at a particular wattage so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to pretend as though this isn't the same phone as previous I'm going to press and hold this for five seconds and now I can release and you can see on this guy it's going to keep resetting its measurement because this is going through multiple charge sequence settings to figure out what is the absolute fastest that it can charge this safely and if a person doesn't do this and they get it from factory and they just plug in and they go oh my phone's not charging uh, typical consumer logic there and then returns it well you missed out on one of the best benefits of this thing is that this is smart to figure out what your phone takes as the fastest charging or in the capacity of charging something else even another battery pack what's the best rate for it to charge at and then it figures it out and then when it's flashing pretty quickly like this that means it's charging at a fast rate and we'll go ahead and see the measurement once again over here and sure enough it's jumped back up to that 1750 so 7 8 watts charging output on this guy uh, so doing a pretty good job and when I put charge into this one it seems to take a charge at around 10 watts so if you did pass through charging this actually will be taking a charge faster than it gives to this uh, but in the logic of pass through charging it's probably sending all circuitry right through to here unless there's a good amount of excess and then it would probably st store it into there so hopefully this was helpful this is to help better understand the charging logic of the Goal Zero Venture 30 and I believe the 70 has the exact same logic uh, and with this beautiful product not only do you have the cable built right in that you can charge with which it does charge through micro USB so older technology uh, so no no type C you gotta make sure that you get this thing in there the right way you don't want to damage anything uh, but water resistant rugged dust resistant and two charging ports so you can actually send to two devices at the same time oh and an emergency standby you've got a flashlight on there too so fun product to own you've got solar charging portable solar charging this is a go-to product rugged device it's gonna last you 
and now you know how to properly charge this thing so if your phone is not charging at the proper rate go through that power sequence and it'll get you going hopefully this was helpful if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe I'll have more videos coming out Goal Zero products I like them I've been buying a lot lately hopefully a few more of that and outside of that peace out thanks for watching